Hi and welcome back. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Goovy RGBIC 2 by 5 meters, so a total of 10 meters. Now it's keen to note that these are split in the middle, so you cannot have two individual 5 meters. You can't also cut these because they are a very particular model. They have independent ICs on them, which enables the ability to have different light zones, which looks fantastic. I'll kind of show that at the very end. Now this does support both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and also other elements such as DIY mode. So you can make your own schemes, music mode, etc, etc. Now they do work with Home Assistant. They do come with the wonderful Goovy app as well, which you can customize. I have also managed to make mine work with my Stream Deck. So it's quite simple for me. Now I have some of these installed in my office, which I can show very in uh, towards the end of the video. This particular set come out of my son's room who wanted these for Christmas. And as a result, my daughter who is four also now wants a set because they look amazing, daddy. So yeah, I, I think that's a you know, justifiable review in itself. Thank you for that, sweetheart. But yeah, without further ado, the unboxing and yeah, a little bit of an installation guide. Um, and yeah, how to uh, how to put these together. So unboxing the Goovy RGBICs. Now the tab is quite rigid on this box, so it did take me a little while just to uh, to work out. But gives you a bit of a view of the box itself. And you do have to kind of half tear this. It's really well put together, but um, yeah, really struggled to uh, not rip that somewhat. Now open it up, you'll get the instruction book with the QR code for Goovy and all the user manuals in there. So that gives you all the useful information that nobody ever reads, but I would recommend reading it if this is the first one of these you've installed. And as you can tell, these two reels are joined together. So as I mentioned earlier, although this is a 10 meter reel, they are separated in the middle. There's two lots of five. You've got the UK plug here, which is a nice white color which you can see is 12 volts and 3 amps. And you also get in the bag these nice little screws. Now, the back of the LED strips are actually, do have a removable adhesive, so you can use those and the alcohol pads to pre-prep them. But personally, what I've done on a lot of it is just use the, the actual adhesive on the back. The idea of those ones is to use it for the corners. And there we are. Now to show you what I meant around that you can have individual lights. So this, this is one of the scenes which gives like a pulse. So you can have them pulse, you can have them go through various colours. And what I've done on this installation is just put them on the very top latch of my son's coving. So you can do some really, really clever automations with this as well. So one of the things I'm planning to do is, so this is in my son's room, he never comes down at night. For dinner, I'm going to pre-program some kind of special sequence that indicates it's dinner time. There are some that are pre-made by Goovy. Particular ones are the Christmas type themes, which are quite popular. I think this is the one at the moment, so it's red with a lot of green flashing lights. It's probably not the easiest to see. And then these are all these other ones with different pulsing. And you can, like I mentioned earlier, create your own. So the kind of world is your oyster a little bit with adapting these somewhat but some of the actual standard ones that are, that are baked into Goovy are quite good and I think since I've owned some of these products they've added a few new scenes so I think community scenes do suddenly get added if uh, if they are liked. Now the good part is it is kind of segmented as well so what you can do is you can set like a you know a particular scene for something that's happening in your room so again like i mentioned you can set these up with the likes of home assistant and i've got one particular where my front doorbell rings that they flash certain lights or in certain kind of sequences now at the moment the installation that i've done for my sons isn't the best i've not finalized it but as you can see that's where the split sits and then on here's you've got the manual controls if you want to use them and then it feed in directly to the um, to the power. So I'm going to show you with mine and using the Goovy app how to control my lights. And you'll notice mine at the moment are just sitting here and underneath my TV, which is this side. Okay. Now I can turn them on and off. So I turn them off. They're now off, as you can see. 
I go into these once they're on, and then I just go back in. You know, so at the moment I'm connecting via Bluetooth, but you can do it different ways. So if I did it on music, for example, now this is reacting to the sound of my voice. It does kind of do some pulsing bass on probably my server fan there as well. But if I raise my voice somewhat, you can see it adjusts that way as well. I can go for different colors. So here you can get the different segmentations of colors. So if I wanted a particular segment to be green, but not green, that one red, that one red, that one red. Problem is it depends where they are. Say so some of them have changed up there now. Um, let's just reverse that though. So they're back to green. Now we can go into scenes. And these are the ones that are kind of pre-filled. So if I go into natural, you can get sunrise. So it gives you like a natural sunrise and it does adapt over time. Same with sunset. It does look very different because it goes the other way. You can get forest, which gives you like a, I, don't, I don't know, like a rainfall dew effect, I suppose. Meteor, as you can see, it kind of chases after itself, which is looks pretty cool. And I think half the thing is just playing around and having fun with some of these. And the great part is you can actually build your own as well. So that's lightning, as you can tell. That's if you were watching a horror film, that's pretty good. You know, that's uh, kind of an interesting one. If you go into festival. Christmas themed one, which is nice for this time of year. Uh, Valentine's Day, etc., etc. And you can go into DIY, and if you go into DIY, that gives you the option to add your own various other bits. Effects Lab. This I think can pull some from some certain games, so I can go into a particular one that's based on a game or some kind of game built airsoft driving so you can get a car i'm not quite sure about all these themes but they're you know they're interesting to play around with you can go to the harmony lab and some of these on press to view so i can do raindrops how does that work and i get the noise as well which is which is great Snowflake. You kind of, I suppose, immerse yourself a little bit in it. So you get the idea. Um, now, with these, would I recommend them? Absolutely. Uh, these were me about 29.99 in the sale now you can get them cheaper now i would personally buy them from amazon just because the speed of delivery you can buy them directly from Goovy as well so you've got a couple of options there but these are absolutely brilliant these beat any led strip i've ever come across uh, 